Welcome to C2 Biosciences Test Method Introduction Series. In this video, we'll be reviewing OECD 301B. Please note that this series is not meant to cover the entire scope of any given method, but rather offer basic test method information to help our customers get started. As always, please make sure to submit a quote request for more information in regards to your project. While there are a variety of OECD 301 ready biodegradability methods, such as OECD 301A through F, the focus for this video will be on OECD 301B in particular. Links for each OECD 301 method are in the description. Testing requirements can be multidimensional, and the variabilities associated with such are manifold due in large part to two key dynamics, the product itself and its intended use. Customers oftentimes need to check with the respective regulatory agencies to determine which biodegradation test is required to make performance claims about their product's biodegradability. Before we review general information about OECD 301B, first, let's reaffirm what is biodegradability. Essentially, it is the ability for a product to be consumed by microorganisms. Biodegradability for the purposes of making claims as an inherent property of the material requires more detail. Currently, unless the product is 100% naturally derived and not materially changed in the manufacturing process, testing must be performed to enable a supplier to make legitimate claims on the product's biodegradability. It is important to note that OECD 301B is an aerobic biodegradation test. This means from a microbial perspective, that the organisms use oxygen as part of the respiration for consumption of nutrients, as opposed to anaerobic, in which organisms use other elements, such as sulfur, in the process of respiration and consumption of nutrients. In reality, there is typically a continuum of these two processes, but in waste treatment facilities, the facility is managed in such a way that one of these processes is the predominant form of degradation. For most commercial markets, aerobic biodegradation is preferred. Now that we have a frame of reference, let's dive into some general details about OECD 301B. OECD 301B is an aerobic biodegradation test that introduces a material to an inoculum in a closed environment and measures biodegradation of the material by CO2 evolution. OECD 301B uses respirometry to determine the biodegradability of the material by evaluating the production of CO2 over a minimum of 28 days in a liquid environment. The OECD 301B test method can be used for highly soluble, poorly soluble, and even for materials with certain concentrations known to be insoluble. Common materials tested with OECD 301B include fuels, lubricants, oil, surfactants, and personal care products. Formulations and other solutions can also be tested. Many chemical and physical properties can impact biodegradability testing, and it is important to communicate these properties with the laboratory prior to beginning biodegradability testing. For more information on biodegradability testing and how a material's chemical or physical properties can affect biodegradability testing, please visit our Biodegradability Testing Chemical Impacts page. The link is in the description. Now let's take a moment to review sample submission requirements. Generally, 100 milliliters or 100 grams will suffice. However, with information on the test sample carbon concentration, we may be able to provide a more definitive amount. This can be further explored upon submitting a quote request. Additional helpful information we would review includes details about the substance total carbon content, total nitrogen content, water solubility, and presence of known antimicrobial components. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you've learned something about OECD 301B testing today, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel to keep up with our content.